Hello, you guys. Hey, come on in. I'm hoping to catch a couple of you here because I want to share a few things with you. I am super pumped up <laughs> after our Dreamcatcher workshop last night. Ah, that was fantastic. So first I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to those of you that came and painted live with me. It was beautiful. And today I tweaked it and got the recording up for everybody. And you can still get it, all of you. Hey, Dawn, hi. It was fabulous painting with you last night. Um, I was just so pumped up afterwards I could hardly sleep. And um, anyway, so I put the link in here. So if you guys are interested in painting the Dreamcatcher painting, you can access it anytime in your own comfort, in your own time, whenever you want. So the link is there for you so you can get that if you want it. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys something that happened to me. Uh, really, really important to be paying attention to coincidences, right? Are there such a thing as coincidences? I don't know. I think everything is, is lined up for us. It's not a coincidence it's a meant to be and it's not that I believe in uh, fate so much because I believe we create our own reality and hey Jennifer yes I got it I sent it to you in an email so all of you that were with me I sent you two versions of the dream catcher the Wii video and the YouTube video because some people have trouble accessing the Wii videos so um, Okay, so I can't wait to tell you guys this. So camping last week, right? My son and his girlfriend came to visit us on Thursday. My, actually, my husband was at work. So we were sitting there in the afternoon, just around the campsite, chatting, having a really nice visit. We got talking about baby names because you know my daughter is expecting, like any day now, we just found out yesterday, might be earlier than we thought. Um, so I'm excited. Uh, so we were talking about baby names. So we just kind of got talking about the ones that we have always liked. And my son, of course, said his one of his favorite girl names is um, Lila. He had watched, oh, many years ago when he was very young, we, we watched August Rush, Rush together and he loved that movie. And he still does. And I do too. It's just a fabulous movie if you haven't seen it. But the mom's name in there is Lila, and he always liked that. And I said to him, did you know that your great-grandmother's name is Isla, Isla May? Not a name, anybody. I, I've never heard anybody use that name before, um, but that was my dad's mom's name. And he said, oh, no, I didn't realize that. That's pretty, too. Oh, that's cool. You know, we'll put that on the list kind of thing. And um, so I've never, as a teacher, you hear every name under the sun. And I have never heard anybody use that name before. Apparently, it's an Irish name. I didn't know that until after this weekend. I have never had a kid in my school named that. I've never heard of it on any movie show or anything. I've never, ever heard anyone use that name except for my great grandmother's name. And so when my son left, we also actually had a conversation about one of his friends from high school. Um, and when he was, uh, actually it was my other son's friend, when he was in high school, I actually taught in the high school uh, for a short period of time, I covered a sick leave for the art teacher there. So I got to meet a lot of their, his friends that normally I wouldn't have gotten to meet. But one of his friends, I haven't seen him since then, I'm sure. It's been years. Like, it's been 12 years, I would think. Um, more than that, actually. <laughs> Anyways, so we had that conversation about him. Yeah, he's still living locally. And I said, oh, I remember him. And, and I brought his face to my mind. And I think that was key. And then we carried on with our conversation. I had said, I haven't seen him in years and years and years. 
Anyways, my son leaves. The people that were camping next to us, they end up leaving. Another couple come in with a little baby, and they're camping, and I chatted with them a little bit. And really nice young couple giving their daughter the experience of camping. And as they were leaving on Sunday, camp packing up, he calls out this little girl's name, which I hadn't actually asked him what his daughter's name was. Guess what her name was? Yep, Isla. <laughs> Can't believe it. Isn't that cool? Her name was Isla. And I was just like, my mouth dropped open. And I was like, really? And he said, yeah. And I said, oh my gosh, that was my great grandmother's name. Never heard of anyone using that name before. And he said, yeah, it's a big, that's, he told me it was an Irish name. They have a lot of Irish on both sides of their family. Wow. Okay. Sunday night, I get home. I go to the store to get us some more milk. Who do I see in the grocery store? My son's friend that I haven't seen in years and years and years that we have just, we're talking about. Does that ever happen to you? Yes, right? All the time. My son and I will talk about movies that we haven't seen in so long. Oh, yeah, remember that movie? That was a really good movie. And next thing you know, it's on the TV. Like within a couple hours or the next day we see it. Things like this happen all the time. <laughs> and I love when they happen because it's confirmation to me that there is something more going on here, right? We are working with energy. We cannot pass that off as coincidence and coincidence reconnecting. I love that, Jennifer. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, hey, I'm starting to see all these comments here. Love that movie too. Yes, that August Rush is a fabulous movie. So what I'm here to say to you is what was going on for me? What was the message for me? I phoned my son up. I'm like, seriously, you and I need to get our heads together to manifest because guess what just happened? And I told him, and of course he laughed at me and thought I was funny. My kids. <laughs> um, but what my focus was all week, because you have to take time to connect that. Where was my focus? What was I intending for the whole week? My intentions were that I have some pretty lofty goals pretty big dreams and goals. So I was working on creating a limitless mind of belief so that I can believe bigger so that my belief can be limitless. So my whole focus over the few days that we were camping was about getting my belief straight, getting really clear with my belief and saying, yes, Yes, this can happen. These dreams can come true. It is totally reasonable in my mind that they can happen and they can happen quickly. So, so that to me was the universe saying to me, you see, you see how fast this can happen. You speak it, it's here. You speak the name, bring it into your focus, that couple just happened to come at that time camping right next to us for one night only. They were from a city a few hours away from here. So cool. I love it. So not only does, does it tell me that, yes, we're here, we're listening, but it tells me that that energy can be instant. It can happen quickly right? Ah, so cool. So <laughs> do coincidences happen for you? Do you have things happen in your life that are like, okay, that was powerful. You, that's what we're going to be doing in the creative mystic. So I'm, I'm now finally starting to promote this creative mystic course that's coming up. August 1st, I already have seven people that have said, yes, I'm, I'm interested and I want to come in. And I have uh, two that have um, 
registered already, I want to invite you to um, come with us. The Creative Mystic is going to be about us coming together, talking about this energy and the signs and the things that happen in our life. How do we enhance that? How do we grow our sensitivities? What are the experiences that other people are having? Because you're going to have epiphanies when they tell you their experiences, you're going to go, oh my gosh, that happens to me too. That is how we um, become more and more aware of this gifts, of this power, of this energy that is within us and within reach for us to work with. I will be teaching you how I was taught by my shamanic teacher way, way, way back, this psycho spiritual development courses that I took with her that taught me how to grow the abilities of not only feeling energy, but seeing it, hearing it, you know, um, moving it. Some really cool experiences there of working with energy and actually kind of that telekinesis stuff. Channeling that energy is really big. And that was my whole intention for this course was to teach you how to channel that energy for yourself. Ultimately, you will begin to channel for other people, but that's the at the end. <laughs> um, but becoming more and more aware, getting the foundational information about energy, how it works, all the different modalities. Um, we'll be doing, you know, uh, focus on oracle cards, uh, tarot cards, focus on angels and guides and teachers, uh, focusing on dreams, lucid dreams, not the dreams like your goals, but the dreams that you have at night, interpreting lucid dreams, working out that communication that you have. How do you um, build the language between you and this energy. So that is what the creative mystic is about and more. And you can look at the link I put in here. It takes you to a page that breaks it down month by month, what we're doing. It's a six month course together. Um, we do have painting workshops in there, creative prompts, because when you are doing creative activities you are in your creative flow you are in your alignment you are in that flow state that opens you up to receive more and guidance and also you know protection and why and how do we protect ourselves so so we're going to be covering everything and more as topics come up within our group each group i mean each time i i'm only doing this once a year obviously from august to january but um, it won't run again until next August. And the group energy will bring even more topics up that we will dive into. So take a look at that. See if that's something that feels good for you. And get registered by Saturday afternoon. I'm going to say um, Saturday afternoon at 4 o'clock. I am going to have our first draw for all the people that have registered and it will be for a deck of tarot cards that hopefully I will receive in the mail tomorrow. I've, I've got four different decks coming. So I will be having one of those decks, a draw for one of those decks on Saturday. And then I will have another draw for another deck on, um, Tuesday. So for the more people, uh, no, sorry, it's Wednesday. So the more people that get in, uh, uh, your name will stay in the draws each time. So the sooner you're in, the better chance you have of getting your own deck of Oracle cards. So, oh, Don, that's how you and your husband came together after years. Oh, that is cool. We happen to run into each other, one another. <gasps> Sounds like a story I'd love to hear. I just love when that happens. Things, oh my goodness, it's that universe talking to us, right? And it's so validating for us. It, it's so much fun to work with the energy and to know we're not alone. We're not doing this alone, right? That, they, that we do have support and help with us. So 
that is what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, I'd love to hear your stories. You have to send me your stories or put them in here so that um, so that we can all hear. You lost connection. Oh, no. Um, I hope I came back. hope that wasn't me. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to text me, message me. You know how to reach me, email me, whatever. Um, and I'd be happy to chat with you about this course. There is also on the page a link if you're like, mm, I don't know, I think I have questions. You can book a time with me and we can just chat about it. Or you can just link, get in and, and sign up and, and join us. As I said, we already have a group of women um, joining us. So I'm excited for this. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. I didn't want to be on here too long. Uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, pay attention to those messages, to those coincidences, synchronicities. They're all there for a reason. Love you guys. I will talk to you later. See you probably by Saturday for sure. Because I got to do a draw on Saturday, right? Okay, see you Saturday. Bye.